Christmas Day, Merry Christmas everyone. I cannot believe it. We're just waiting for this <laughs> was like over the moon excited to open these presents. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Baba. Love you. Yours. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, yeah. Becca, is that for you? Or is that for Avianca? You have one more present. Where? In there. Eloise got the helicopter. Let's see what you got. Yeah, this is going to be recyclable. Thank you, Baba. You're the best. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Recycle this week for garbage day. Hot mess express. Merry Christmas! They're loving this um, Barbie house. The one that I assembled in one of the vlogmases. They got all of their little horses in here. Look at this. It's spirit. It's spirit. Right there. They got three of them. They love, are like obsessed with this movie, movie and this Netflix series Spirit. So for them, this is like perfect. Aviana drew us a picture this morning as like a little gift. And then she drew the Christmas tree and she's like, I drew the star even though we forgot to, we don't have one on our tree. And I was like, oh my goodness, she's so right. We forgot to put the star on the tree. Yeah, Completely forgot forgot because it was in a different box. Oh, yay! Yay! Isn't it pretty? Yeah. That should be like our Christmas tradition, putting on the star on Christmas Day.
having a wonderful, beautiful Christmas wherever you are, whatever you're doing. We want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Today has definitely been one of my most favorite Christmases by far. I think mainly because we're all home. My husband doesn't have to go to work and he doesn't have to usually heal. Usually what happens is that he either has to work Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or the day after. And it's just like a lot of family time this whole holiday season. And I'm really enjoying it and loving it. And that's like one thing that I really value is family time. So it's just been a blessing. I am feeling like my sinuses are not draining properly. And this happened, this is probably the third time in two years or so. I don't know what it is in July. I got a pretty bad sinus infection. And then right now, sometimes when I catch a cold, my sinuses just get all messed up. So I did the neti pot yesterday and today, my lashes fell off. So I just took them off. Well, they didn't fall off, they were ready to fall off from the neti pot, all that steam. So I went ahead and it was just like hot water with essential oils to help like this whole situation going on here. I have my hot water with lemon, ginger, and honey. I'm trying to do as much as I can. And then I took a hot shower, like a steamy hot shower, and I put in one of the shower steamers that I talked about in one of the vlogs. It's basically like a bath bomb for your shower, and it has essential oils in it. The one that I used was the cold kicker. It had peppermint and eucalyptus in it. So as the steam, the steam makes it kind of like release the essential oils into the shower. So it's just really nice. I feel like a good shower always really helps. So I did that, and I think now I'm just going to go ahead and do my lashes, just to have some lashes on, and my parents might stop by later wish the kids Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. So right now I just wanna apply some lashes and I'm gonna use the Baleon, well, these Baleon lashes mixed with um, Boderman's lashes. I have a feeling they're exactly the same, just different sizes. These are size 13, these are 12. So I'm gonna do a mix of the two, but I have a feeling they're literally the exact, they look like the exact same lash. So I'm gonna apply like some 13s, probably a 12 in the inner corner, or maybe a 13 and 12s. I don't know, we will see, just to have some lashes on. And I'm gonna use the Lash Links Glue and Lash Links Applicator. And I'm not gonna apply glue to my natural lashes just because I have been loving how my lash growth, my lashes have been doing the health of my lashes without putting glue on my actual natural lashes. So I stopped putting glue on my natural lashes unless I like really want them to hold and stay. If they're like a really voluminous lash, you just take one of your lash segments and then swipe some glue across the top of the lash band. You don't even need a lot. Let it get a little bit tacky. Plop it where you want it, underneath your lash line. And you have some nice lashes. I ended up applying the lashes off camera just because I needed to be really close to my mirror. One thing that I realized that makes it easier is I will do this, I'll take one of my lash segments, apply some glue from the stick, apply some glue to the top of it, and then take that lash segment. Instead of applying it to my lash right away, I'll put it on a tray with the glue and I'll do about three to four lash segments. And then by the time I'm done with the fourth one, the first one is kind of tacky. So then I can go ahead and apply it and it's ready to apply without sliding off. So that just makes it, I don't know my voice. I know my voice sounds so funny right now, but that's one thing that makes it easier for me so that you don't have to really wait for the glue to get tacky. And I do like these lashes. Um, they don't look like real lash extensions, but they are very nice. I like the crisscross fibers, the flared tops. They are very nice, like volume lash, not too over the top. I think the one of the main reasons why I kind of don't really care for wearing lashes lately is because I haven't found like the perfect lash. I'm still waiting for like the perfect lash, like Tosh lash that like if I could, I wish I could like just go and create my own style or have like someone create a style for me. I think that'd be so cool, but for now, this will do, I'm not complaining. There are definitely a lot of lash options out there. I guess because I've tried so many different lash styles that I kind of know what I'm looking for and what I want. So I think I'm just gonna go chill with the kids for now. I made some cocoa bombshells. I'm actually show you guys in the kitchen. The silicone mold that I ordered off of Amazon did end up coming in. This one right here with the spheres. And the first time that I tried it, it did not work out because I made the chocolate layer way too thin. So what you do is basically melt chocolate 
any kind of chocolate. Usually melting chocolate, specifically for melting chocolate, works best. And then you take your melted chocolate and kind of brush it or spoon it onto the mold and the, put it in the freezer, let it cool, freeze, take it out and take it out of silicone molds. Mine cracked because the layer was way too thin layer of chocolate. So you need like a good, I would say like three centimeters maybe, if you don't want your chocolate to crack. So second time, what I did is I put them in the freezer, let that freeze, and then I took them out and added another layer on top so that I was like guaranteed they're not gonna crack. And they didn't. It doesn't look cute inside, but it doesn't matter because no one's gonna see the inside anyway when you are ready to, you know, do the fill them and put them together and stuff like that. But these actually already have like a little bit of condensation or something on them. But it does not look cute, <laughs> like all the brush strokes and everything from the spoon but at least it worked so when it was time to take it out they did not crack and then you just fill it with your hot cocoa marshmallow sprinkles all that fancy stuff so i wanted to do that for the kids so i think i'm gonna try to put them together right now i made our own hot cocoa mix let me grab it real quick oh by the way this necklace is actually an amazon find it took two weeks to come in and very impressed it is more of like a vintage gold it's actually very similar in color to this one. These are all from Amazon, believe it or not. Um, but I just thought it was a really great find. It took like two weeks, two weeks to come in and I actually really like it. I have it at the longest length right now, but you can make it shorter, like a choker length. I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys.